Hey guys, welcome back uh, to the May Painting Challenge wrap up video, day 26. I decided instead of showing you more uh, Terminators, because that's what I did in day 25, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the finished mutilators, because they look completely different and are completely crazy and off the wall awesome. So these are for the Chaos Space Marines army for Warhammer 40k. I decided to really darken up and bruise up the flesh tones and I think they came out really well. I used some red and purple washes in there and then when I highlighted the bone I made sure that it was uh, nice and bright with the streaks so that it would offset the bruised color of the flesh. And the tricky thing is I wanted it to look realistic, you know, but I didn't want it to look gory because uh, the, the, the client is uh, going to be using these models to play with uh, some younger gamers and so I wanted to make sure that you know, there wasn't lots of blood and gore and craziness and that it still looked like melted, mutating flesh while still being, you know, as, as PG as I could. I and mean, just look at this model, it's absolutely crazy already, so as a painter, you know, you gotta pick and choose your battles. For the colors on the armor, I decided that the Brass Scorpion was a little bit too yellow. And so I went back over, or too red, rather. It was like a really reddish looking brass color, so I decided to go back over with a more yellowish Rune Lord brass. Rune Lord brass is great, you guys. If you want this dull looking uh, faded gold look, then really Rune Lord brass is one of the better metallic paints I think that Games Workshop has in their range. I also decided to do the faces a little bit lighter than the rest of the skin tone, and that's because you want to. I mean, when you look at a model, the face is one of the first things you see on it, you know, and it's one of the first things you you look at. The eye really gets drawn to the faces of the model, so I wanted to make sure that with all of the business going on, you know, the wiring and the cabling and all of the nasty mutations and stuff, you can still tell where the face is and what the expression is. And even though I don't think these are the greatest sculpts Games Workshop has done, they're really done to match the obliterators, you know, the big hulking... Chaos Space Marine with uh, armor with the these mutations uh, and, and it is also in fine cast so that's unfortunate as well but I wanted to do as good of a job that I could and I think I did it's pretty 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 cool I uh, this is definitely my favorite just look at how his arm is all stretched out and warped and mutated the armor is kind of melted in from a bunch of different weapons and you've got bony growths and exhaust pipes and it's the weirdness. It's really, really odd. Okay, so for today's question, or the question for day 26 for the May Painting Challenge, what was the strangest food you've ever eaten and where were you? The answer for this, I think, is uh, going back to my childhood when I was in the, like the sixth grade. I went to a friend's house and his dad had escargot. And this wasn't like the fancy kind you eat at a restaurant where they have like the little bowls, the white ceramic bowls with the little holes for each of the little snail things to go into. This is seriously like escargot in a plastic bag. And I don't know, I think he worked at a, had a, at a restaurant, so he was able to take home some leftovers. But he basically just took them out of this Ziploc plastic bag. And he was like, hey, here's some escargot. And it was, you know, from a nice fancy restaurant, but just eating that thing out of a plastic bag on a paper plate, I just thought it was so weird. <laughs> It was so weird and it tasted like garlic and it had all these spices on it. I think that's definitely the weirdest. Uh, I, and I know when I start watching all of your guys' project videos, I can't wait to see what you guys have for your day 26 answer because I'm sure there's some weirder stuff out there than this. Alright, thanks for watching everybody. Uh, stay tuned for the day 27 video in which I will show off uh, the other five Terminators. Latest players!